Hi, I'm Shane. Today we're going to be talking about our 2420 XL snowblower. This blower is really dirty because I've been using it the last three days out here and it's, things are getting muddy and, and filthy so it's been a really good test to run it in some nasty conditions but um, I wanted to point out the 6000 series fan motor right here. If you looked at this, if you compared it to a 2000 series, it's probably about twice the size. That just allows the flow to uh, have less restriction, less heat build up through the motor. So this motor is going to breathe easier at those higher flow rates. It's also engineered to handle higher pressures. Very robust, larger bearings, uh, very solid and reliable motor. With a hydraulic system like this, uh, we're using direct drive so the, there's no shear pin. And also the direct drive means that there's no chain drive. So the, the motor itself is actually enclosed inside this can and it drives the auger directly from one end. So the auger itself is an 18 inch diameter and it's 5 16 inch thick flighting and the serrations just give you an added ability to chew in the tough snow whether it be hard uh, frozen snow or in the case of today we have really dense heavy snow that's been warmed and uh, frozen several times over the flighting itself is open and it's uh, that design because uh, it gives a better ability to push snow to the fan without overloading. So if you had a solid flighting here, these holes would be closed, but what happens then is it tends to overload. The snow gets too packed up together and it starts to, uh, sometimes it'll curl, especially if the snow is warm and sticky. So being open allows it to move the snow and still kind of chop it up at the same time. So it keeps it loose, it keeps it flowing towards the fan. We use a six inch round skid shoe that's similar to what you might find on Snowblade. Uh, this is a simple skid shoe that's easy to find at parts stores. It's also easy to adjust. So you have um, just washers to either put above or below the bushing. It makes it nearly um, infinite. It gives you a lot of adjustment on the height. Uh, it's important to set your skid shoes at the correct height so that you can use them as a pivot point um, to change the angle of the cutting edge. So our cutting edge here is a 5 8 by 6 uh, double bevel cutting edge so it's reversible and uh, we have it mounted to the blower body at a 10 degree down angle and that's so that you have just the right combination of cut ability uh, you got an edge uh, of the cutting edge it's going to scrape and cut and it's not uh, so steep that it gouges or dives when you uh, get on a surface like today now we're, we're on something really soft so it's going to give a nice combination of that you want that skid shoe then to be able to be a fulcrum point to rock the blower body fore and aft to change uh, your cutting height. Another feature of the snowblower body is the single piece spin formed fan wrapper. The fan wrapper is this circular part right here that contains the fan. Uh, you want to have a fan wrapper that's not only strong but also consistent in size and shape because you want to have a tight fit between the fan blade and the wrapper. The tighter the fit, the more efficient you're going to be with blowing the snow. You're not going to have as much leaking past the fan blade. So we have a fit here of about 3 16ths to a quarter inch, and that's consistent all the way around. The fan is a four blade design that has an open center so that it feeds consistently. The blades themselves are made out of 3 8 inch plate, and they're fully gusseted and welded to the back plate. So uh, it's really a strong member. It's also mounted directly to the fan motor itself so that eliminates any kind of gearbox or any other uh, maintenance issues or other issues that might fail. Here we're using a uh, small orbital motor to turn the chute. We're using chain and a, and a roller system. This system has been developed over 50 years of experience here um, and the whole purpose behind it is to keep the chute from freezing. It has rounded surfaces and it rolls and so it's hard for the uh, water to freeze in there and grab both surfaces and hold them down both tight. The chain system is uh, designed for the same purpose. The chain is flexible obviously. It's, it's going to be a hard surface for ice and snow to attach to. So that's going to help prevent the chute also from freezing up. We're using an 11 inch chute base so it has a nice wide throat. Uh, that's going to allow snow to exit easily and, and reduce the chance of plugging. We also use a smooth curved back surface. Uh, that's going to make the snow exit in a nice consistent manner. On top we have the chute deflector that's hydraulically 
operated by a small cylinder and that's going to allow you to change uh, your casting distance. So if you want to cast it maximum, you'll have it up somewhat like this. If you want to cast it not quite so far, you'll turn it down. We have a bolted connection here so that we can adjust the height of this mounting plate if the skid steer has oversized tires or over the tire tracks or something like that. If the mounting plate's taller, you can move this mounting plate up and still have the snow blower at the correct orientation, the correct height. Check back often because we're going to continue to make more videos like this. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or check out our website.